Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be tie-dyeing. Um, I did this last year. I haven't done it since my last tie-dye video, actually. It was like last September, October-ish, I think. But I'm going to be tie-dyeing this shirt. It's got like an American flag on it. It's from Under Armour. I got it thrift shopping. Um, I thought it would be super cute because the um, logo and like the pattern on it all the graphics are printed on it so they'll like show up once I tie-dye so I think that'll be really fun um I think I'm gonna do blue and try to do like a splotchy kind of look I don't really know how to explain it but it's pretty in style right now I think so I'm gonna go get set up and start tie-dyeing so let's go outside day I dyed my shirt last night at about like 6 30 and it's about noon now so I've just been doing some school today um and researching what we're gonna do this weekend which will be a video up on my channel on Tuesday so make sure you check that out but I'm going to go rinse out my shirt outside and then throw it in the dryer um I hope it came out well I mean it looked pretty splotchy when I was doing it yesterday so I don't have super high expectations but I guess we'll see. So let's go out and rinse out my shirt and then pop it in the dryer for a few minutes. So excuse my hair because I just got out of the shower, but I threw on the shirt. It's still a little bit wet. I did have it in the dryer for like 40 minutes, so I don't know why it's not dry. But um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm pretty proud of myself. I thought it was going to look too splotchy, but I think it kind of spread out pretty well and evened out. So I'm going to go out and take some pictures of this. But um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my social media at Rosie Revolt and check out my Etsy shop to buy one of the custom necklaces that I make. Um, and check out my book at getoutdoorsbook.com. And I will see you guys later. Bye!